Hi everybody, uh, I thought I'd just pop on here for a quick video this morning uh, just to explain what I'm doing. Um, wow, what a difference in two weeks. Uh, life has changed quite dramatically for everybody, um, not just in the UK but worldwide. We're all waking up, certainly in the UK, to be in a, in a lockdown situation today. Uh, lots of changes for us all, um, particularly us self-employed people. Uh, at the moment, still waiting for a, to see if the government are going to give us any help. Um, there have been plenty, um, some amazing measures for, for everyone else, but we seem to have been left out for some reason. But I think that's probably going to be addressed in the next day or two. However, I have uh, a lot of spare time now, so I thought I'd uh, bring my YouTube channel back to life and use it in a slightly different way, uh, obviously, because I can't get out. And... I think one of the main things we need to do in a situation like, like we're in just now is to, to look for the positives. Um, could sit around complaining about how much money we're losing out on, but everyone's in the same boat. There's, it, we're not being victimised or there's no point in, in sitting around feeling sorry for ourselves. We need, to, we need to find a positive. My personal view on this is I'm actually embracing the opportunity to, to actually have a rest because... For the last, oh well, 21, 22 years I've been working as a photographer and it's been six, seven days a week, long hours at times and I'm always complaining that I wish there was a, a reset button or I wish I could take a, a gap year like pretend I'm a teenager or have a midlife crisis or something. But uh, now we've got a forced break and this is actually, although there's no money coming in just now, this is exactly what I've been needing and wanting for more years than I can remember. So my positive from this is, this is actually a chance for me to, to actually rest, recharge, look at my business, think about things that I need to do to it, maybe address a few things that, that aren't working and focus on things that are working. It's all things that uh, when, you're, when you're busy, you just don't get a chance to, to look at things like this. And I think everyone who's self-employed or running their own business will understand that. So I think we should all just think to ourselves, well, this is actually, we're getting a, a break here and a chance to, to recharge our batteries, reboot ourselves, our businesses. And yeah, it's not ideal. We're, we're stuck indoors for most of the time. And yeah, it, but let's find a positive and uh, focus on it. So that's why I decided that I was going to start making some videos because this is something that I've planned to do for, for some time but I never seem to have time to focus on actually getting things up and running. So previously I, I wanted to do some demonstration videos but obviously I can't do much now. So for the immediate future I'm going to do some tips and, and tricks for photographers and this is for all levels, not just uh, professional photographers. I think people using their, their smartphones, people who maybe have a business and are taking some pictures on a day-to-day -day basis for their social media, you can all benefit from, from learning a few skills and I'd like to share some of my knowledge on here. So I'll, well, I think I'll have plenty of time to, to try to update videos on a, a daily basis. So if you've got any requests or anything that you're struggling with, please just add a, a comment and click subscribe and you'll get updates as and when they come. Um, definitely interested to find out what people are struggling with with photography and wh what areas they feel they could improve on. Um, I've got a list of topics that I want to cover, which will be everything from wedding photography, photographing people, using flash, that's one area that I do find I get a lot of questions about, but people using flash, people are struggling when they're just starting out using flash, how to set it up, certainly how to use it outdoors and on location and I've certainly got a lot of knowledge on that subject which I'm happy to share. Uh, landscape photography, I've got uh, obviously uh, published a book last year so I've been out and about on the North Coast 500 and shot loads of places around here so I'll be sharing some of my photographs and how they were created. Another thing I'd like to which I'd welcome is for people to, to get in touch and send me some of their pictures um, and I can do some reviews if you're brave enough to, to let me do a critique on your, on your own photography. So I'll, uh, I'll leave an email address in the, 
in the comments below and please get in touch if you'd like me to do a, a critique on any of your work on again on on any sort of genre from people to pets to landscapes and whatever whatever is your thing uh, so click subscribe keep up to date with what's going on and um, I'll hopefully have some another update later today I'll, I'll do I'll do another video and with something a bit more interesting than me just rambling so get in touch subscribe add a comment if you've got anything that you want me to cover and get in touch if you want me to review any of your pictures and everybody just stay safe and stick to the rules and everyone will be okay and just look after yourselves.